right, everybody, welcome to the library's first no bake video. Ah, we're very excited here. This is probably going to be a gigantic disaster and a mess. I don't think either one of us cares. Steph, do you care? Nope, not at all. <laughs> Me either. I'm kind of excited. So with the lid, all right, screw this back on so that when I shake it well, um, I do not in <laughs> fact fling tahini across the library because that would be a mess. Nobody's telling our, our boss that we're doing this, right? Right? Please, nobody mention this. <laughs> Not one minute. <laughs> he probably doesn't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, into the measuring cup. Look, I haven't made a disaster yet. <laughs> yes, it's still early. Oh, it's very early in the process. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Okay. So, food processor. Let's see. If we dump in the tahini and I have a little doo-wobby here. There's probably a better word for doo-wobby, spatula. Okay, so next step definitely would have been a good thing to maybe have some paper towels ready. Right. Don't worry, I have paper. I'm good, I am prepared. <laughs> Otherwise we have a student worker in the library with us today who could run over to my office and share uh, the paper towel bounty. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. I made a, an advertising funny. That was totally unintended. <laughs> okay, so actually I think I was a little short on this. So ah, I'm squeezing a little more tahini. I like it. I like the flavor. Right. All right. Uh, and what did I say came next? Um, oh, the lemon juice. Lemon juice. All right. I did, in fact, roll out a lemon last night and juice it in my juicer. So nice. I hand did it and it was a pain. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I did not say that clearly. I don't have like a machine that does it. I just, I have one of those glass things that you oh, put that you cut it, you cut your, your lemon in half and like squeeze it on the like glass mountainy thing. That's nice though. Yeah, it worked out great. <laughs> Actually, it used to be my grandmother's. Oh, cool. I would say my grandmother, in fact, was quite a good cook although I doubt she'd ever heard of hummus in her life um, and but she would pr almost certainly be appalled by my lack of cooking skills so sorry grandma right. there all right just in case you were wondering whether this is real it definitely is <laughs> all right lid off this is the oil and the garlic and uh oh the 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 uh turmeric yeah if you're roasting things i love turmeric i just throw it all over whatever i throw in the oven to roast and it works out really well that's a good idea ah it gives it a nice flavor i feel like a cooking show right <laughs> i think we could start a whole series cooking in the library i like this I plus like i like this. to talk about cooking so uh yeah i like to talk to people while i cook too so uh, mm -hmm. in my mind you know you're standing in my kitchen right. <laughs> instead Although, of your office <laughs> i was gonna say in steph's mind we're standing in her kitchen too that's that's the advantage of to doing this in our offices yeah all right i am ready for my lid again lid back on all right, one more batch of mixing this. Okay, now mine is a very yellow looking uh, hummus so far because the turmeric. <laughs> now I don't, my little cup is not gonna be quite big enough to mix all of my beans, chickpeas. I'm pretty sure both words are correct. <laughs> So this is my next potential set stage for disaster is dumping chickpeas all over the office. Right. <laughs> oh, actually, I think most of the can is going to fit in here. Oh, nice. Awesome. How's your mixing coming? Everything? Uh, I may have dropped a chickpea on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> 
shoot. And it happens. <laughs> it happens. All right. Not all the chickpeas went in, but uh, I may be able to do. Oh, wrong lid. I may be able to do another batch here. All right, it's coming pretty well. It's definitely over the maximum fill line. If you're the kind of right. person who likes to follow directions, that's down here. I'm up here. Right. <laughs> oh, this looks really good, though. I'm excited about it. My uh, little blender feels like Scotty from the um, original Star Trek series, and I can't do a Scotty accent, but it's like, <laughs> I can't blend no more, Captain. <laughs> right? I was going to say, I'm at the Maxville line, and I still got some chickpeas left. <laughs> I went ahead and dumped all my chickpeas in. I'm way over the Maxville line. So it does say to put in some cold water. So mm -hmm. just in just to be a completist, I'm, I'm putting in a little water. My blender is, uh, my little food processor is probably less thrilled with me than it could be. All right, I'm going to call that as blended as and creamy as it's going to get. Mm. I think I used a little too much lemon juice. I mean, a little more lemon juice than they called for. Um, but I don't care. I actually really like lemony bitter flavor. So, yeah rolling back across the floor there you go you can see mine is a really yellowy you can see Steph's is a much tanner color mm -hmm. all right let's get to the important stuff here another uh another cracker again I'm sorry if you don't like chewing just go ahead and mute it for a moment here I'm happy. It is very good. It's a good recipe. Definitely. All right. I will put the recipe down in the little notes section of this so that when you are ready to I'll turn this, you can see that the majesty of the of the uh, hummus again. So yeah, when you want to try yours, uh, you can just use the recipe that we used. And uh, otherwise, yeah, enjoy some stress busting, healthy snacking for yourself mm -hmm. it's literally this easy <laughs>